So this is Hotline Miami, as most of you would probably be familiar with. Um, it's a cult game that has, well, a game that has a cult following, um, a sequel that I'm legally not allowed to play. Thanks, Obama. I mean, thanks, Tony Abbott. At least I think Tony Abbott was in power at the time. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a big cultural icon, and the character that you play as in this game even appears in Payday 2. Which is really fucking cool. So, let's get started. I'm here to tell you how to kill people. This game is controlled with your WASD keys and mouse. Press the left mouse button to punch. Aim for the face. Once you've knocked someone out, you have to finish him. To do this, you press space. You got it? Are you sure? Left mouse button to punch. Space to finish. Don't you understand me? Don't mess this up. Okay, Mr. Floating Hobo Head. Alright, now you should try killing the next guy, but use the bat in the red room over there, okay? Press the right mouse button when next to it to take it. Then you press the left mouse button to swing it. Did that get through your thick skull? Did it? Right mouse to pick up, left mouse to swing it. Don't fucking yell at me. Are you even listening? Well, get to it then. Oh, fine. Fucking... Uh... Womp. Well done, so let's get to the guns, shall we? You go and get the shotgun in the blue room. You pick it up the same way you picked up the bat. Just press the rice mouse, rice mouse button. Can you handle that? Use the shift button to look for enemies out of view. It's very useful for not getting yourself killed. You can press the scroll wheel to look on to lock onto enemies. Just make sure to place your crosshair over them first. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I fucking get it. I fucking get it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So I f did um, Hotline Miami within the space of about a week, I think. Um, I've only got three hours of it on record, but I picked it up during my um, mid-year holidays at um, university, which was in um, fucking... What fucking year was it? I think 2013, 2014? Wait, can I just go to the car now? I'm just skipping most of the dialogue because it's a very dialogue heavy game. And anyone who tells you that there's no story is... Well, for one, no one would ever tell you that there's no story. But for two, it is just extremely fucking like story heavy so I'm just skipping it to get to the gameplay oh fuck oh that's right I have to restart it is a very oh that's right I need to there we go it is a very twitch heavy game in that if you take one hit you just fucking die instantly Oops. Fuck. Oh, like that. And it's mixed with the fucking, like, synth music in the background. I need- I think I need to drop my sensitivity. No, it's not my sensitivity. I'm just bad at the game. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. Fuck! I forgot to check ahead of me. I raged a lot over Hotline Miami, more so than Super Meat Boy. Even the um, levels where you play as the kid to unlock the kid. Fuck, 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 fuck. And there is a mandatory stealth level where if you... If someone spots you, you're just fucking dead instantly. Like, game over. Briefcase! Yay! What the fuck is happening now? Oh shit. 
Oh, right, that's what the briefcase is in reference to. Because I remember there was a melee weapon they added for Jacket. What the fuck happened here? Why did my screen minimize? Why did things stop recording? Okay, well that doesn't make fucking sense. Oh, I think it's because I have stuff on the top of my tablet. Yeah, it's because I have stuff on the top of my tablet. Fucking idiot. So yeah, just like any other arcade game, it is... Well, scored based on fucking people up. B plus, nice. And yeah, you get, um, you mask unlocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. That give you a different ability, like, um, Richard the, um, it's not a fucking cockatoo. I was just going to say the cock. Brewster, that's the word. He, um, he doesn't do anything. But, like, Rasmus makes you walk faster. There's one that makes your punches do killing blows. I think that's, uh, Tony? Can't remember why it's Tony. Or even if it is Tony. Oh, no, that's right. Rasmus is an eye for secrets. Surprise, motherfucker! Whoops! <laughs> oh god. Surprise, motherfucker! No, I want the spaz 12. And yeah, if you use guns, people will hear and they- Ah, oh, god damn it! Oh, that's right, you can fucking lock on. Fucking dickhead. Alright, bitch has got a sh- What have you done? Oh, god damn it. Nice. Nice. Oh, there was another guy down there? Nice! That was satisfying. Very satisfying. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that there for Hotline Miami. There's not that much else to say about it because the game is, well... If you enjoy doing that, then, you know, fucking buy the game and do more of that. And I don't know why I'm gesturing, because I know that the uh, webcam has fucking failed on me. Anyway, if you're interested in a really in-depth story and like the uh, action puzzle vibe, then yeah, fucking go for it, mate.